India has decided to fast track approval for COVID-19 vaccines developed overseas in other countries. Now this comes amid reports of vaccine shortages in certain states in the middle of a worrying second wave of infections in India. Foreign made jabs already approved by other countries will be given approval for emergency use. This includes vaccines green lighted by the US FDA, the European Medicines Agency, the British and Japanese regulators and those jabs listed in the World Health Organization's emergency use listing. Earlier, the policy was for foreign jabs to undergo small safety trials in India before gaining approval. This requirement has now been dropped. बाहर के जो विदेश में बने हुए वैक्सीन हैं, अगर उन उनको यूएस के रेगुलेटर ने यूके के रेगुलेटर ने ईयू के रेगुलेटर ने और जापान के रेगुलेटर ने अप्रूव किया है या डब्ल्यूएचओ की एमरजेंसी यूज ऑथराइजेशन लिस्ट में इंक्लूड हो गया है देन दैट और दोज वैक्सीन आर अप्रूव फॉर यूज इन इंडिया अ प्रायर प्री कंडीशन ऑफ अ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल will not be applicable and this is a provision for covid-19 vaccines only under the special circumstances of the day of of uh, of the pandemic related uh, urgency that is prevailing in the country the first 100 recipients of these foreign jabs will be monitored before the rollout is extended india is looking to expand its basket of vaccines amid a second wave of infections earlier in the day the indian regulators granted emergency use approval for russia's sputnik vaccine with this three jabs are now available in the indian market sputnik covishield and covaxin But the new policy means that foreign vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna could also soon be making their entry into the Indian market. India is approving vaccines that have already been green-lighted by foreign regulators. On your screens is a map listing these vaccine candidates out. Most of these have been approved by multiple countries like vaccines by Pfizer, Moderna and that by Oxford AstraZeneca. Other include Janssen approved by the United States and Europe and Conminati approved by Europe. During the last 24 hours India once again recorded over 150,000 new covid cases. The country of more than 1.2 billion people has administered more than 100 million covid vaccine so far. Joining us on this broadcast now is Simon R Clark who's a microbiologist who's joining us live from United Kingdom's Reading. I'd like to uh, welcome you so f- I'd like to welcome you on the show Simon. Uh this mm-hmm. is a serious concern isn't it? Uh, you know COVID-19 was first identified in the Chinese city of Wuhan way back in December 2019. It's been a long time and the world is still battling with the pandemic. We have enough vaccines. but the virus is mutating now this is a double mutant virus strain which has been identified in india over the last few days the same strain has been identified in uk us singapore and australia so this is a challenging battle isn't it uh, the while the vaccines are being developed the virus is mutating how does the world win this battle uh, the world will win, only win this battle by being uh, incredibly vigilant by by uh, uh, collecting as many samples of virus as possible from as many people as possible uh, understanding their biology and watching how they spread around the world now it may be important may be possible to generate booster vaccines um later this year for for use at the, the, the end of this year beginning of next uh, but that will require us to understand how the most successful variants and inevitably some will will be better at infecting people more rapidly than others and producing an effective booster uh, to tackle that really that and breaking social interactions or reducing social interactions are the only ways we've got the only weapons we've got for fighting this virus what makes this double mutant strain so dangerous well it has a couple of mutations that have been seen uh in other variants around the world most notably uh one in in an amino acid in the spike protein amino acid 484 now we've had experience of that 
in other parts of the world. This is a slightly different change that uh, it makes, but it's in the same amino acid, the same position on the spike protein. Um, and there's another called uh, L452R, which we're not quite sure what that does. The E484 mutation seems to reduce the ability of antibodies to bind to the spike protein and stop it act from acting like a key to entering our cells. But like I say, the uh, L452 mutation, uh, there are some theories, some hypotheses on what that does, but I don't think it's yet been proven. I guess the biggest question, um, Simon, here is, will the vaccines work against this double mutant strain of COVID? Well, they will have some efficacy, but uh, it's an important question that needs to be addressed. Uh, I suspect that not all the vaccines will work uh, as well as others, um, with this variant at least. And we have seen some, some differences in, in, in efficacy between variants with different vaccines. So there is a lot of data to be generated, a lot of stuff to be found out every time we get a, a new significant variant appear. One final question to you, Simon. Um, you know, it's been a long time since the world has been battling with this pandemic. Uh, in December 2019, the first case was found in Wuhan, China, but we still don't know how humans contracted COVID-19. The World Health Organization probe hasn't been able to identify the source of COVID. Will it help the world to fight this pandemic and future pandemics if we know the source of the current one? Uh, I'm not sure how fighting this pandemic would be, um, would be helped by finding out the source. It would be academically very interesting. Uh, but I think in the here and now, we need to be able to suppress its transmission. Uh, and we can do that, like I said earlier, with uh, social reducing social interactions and with a vaccine. But I think what's important for understanding where this one came from is the effect or the, that it ha will have on our ability to control future um, outbreaks, because there will be future outbreaks. We need to understand better how they occur, because only if we understand how they occur can we stop that from happening. Simon Clark, thank you so much for joining us uh, from Reading in the UK. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.